I'm here with Red Cavender at the uh, Crystal Springs Rhododendron Gardens. Correct. And you know, every year we come out here and talk to you because the blooms are just breathtaking. Fantastic. Th this year, there's still some breathtaking blooms, but it's a little different, isn't it? Well, it really is. We've had such a late season. We're seeing magnolias and cherries in bloom that we wouldn't ordinarily see. They're long gone. Yeah. And yet the azaleas here, quite often by Mother's Day, they, they could be passed and they're just opening up. So yeah. you're going to come to the garden this year and you'll think, it's a whole different day, garden. <laughs> completely different garden. It's true. Now, because of the, win uh, the winter, and we had an early winter in November, bad oh, snow yes. and freeze. The winter hasn't been kind to us and spring has been cold. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what that might be doing to the home gardeners, rhododendrons and azaleas. Well, the November freeze, and I mean freeze, it was not it a was, frost, it came wasn't. before we had a frost. <laughs> yeah. And so you're probably seeing brown leaves and damaged foliage on rhododendron, especially the bigger leaf things. But they'll come out of it. Yeah. The new growth will come out and cover that up. The plant's probably, I doubt it's dead. It might be a little, some damage. And February really didn't help. I had a number of things in bloom in February. Mm -hmm. uh, after one night of 14 degrees, they were all mush. Yeah. But interestingly enough, they came out, some of those plants flowered again after things warmed up. And then of course, we had 29 days of rain in March. <laughs> so everything is delayed. But by the same token, the things that come out with the cool weather, they last a lot yeah, longer. Yeah, that's true. That's and, true. You know, if we'd had 80 degree weather, they'd have been long gone. It, well, now, if, um, if, if people think that maybe there's a limb or a complete roadie that is dead, you, you really suggest just waiting till like July, August. I, I certainly would because, uh, you know, especially on a good sized plant, there's a lot of strength in those yeah. roots and there's dormant buds. And you may lose a limb or two, or especially on the exposed side. But I give it a really give it a chance, and that same really goes for many other things it's in true. your garden. That's very true. Now every year, uh, you guys celebrate Mother's Day with a special event, still oh, happening yes. this year, even regardless of the weird weather. <laughs> this is still happening. So well, let's talk I've been about doing that. my I've been doing my sun dance, <laughs> and hopefully so that's what happened this year, huh? <laughs> you, gotta, you can stop that. <laughs> hopefully, it'll last for two days. And maybe, <laughs> but we will have a parking lot full of rhododendrons, and we'll have four vendors that will be selling everything from uh, maples and magnolias and very, various trees right down to small companion plants, herbaceous material. And I think we may still even have a few tomatoes. Yeah. But, <laughs> but don't plant them out <laughs> no, yet. Not, not yet. <laughs> but it'll be a big sale and the sale itself runs from 9 to 5 Saturday and Sunday. It's a little, hop in your car and head down here. <laughs> well, and there are, the good thing about this sale too, I think, is these are people that have been passionate about rhododendrons right. for a long time. So right. there's really a lot of great knowledge if you have questions or things aren't happening right or you think they're not right, you can come out then and ask it. Now, um, it's, it's, it's free to get into the gardens. There's the U.S. No, for a donation. Well, it's, it's, free to, it's free to get into the plant sale. There is a $3 admission charge to the garden to get itself. Yeah, but that admission charge will also allow you to see the show the cut flower show that's yeah. down in the cool house right now, they're in the process of judging it right now, but the flower show will be open noon to five on Saturday and nine to five on Sunday. Wonderful. Well, you know, it's a Mother's Day tradition for a lot of people to come out here to Crystal Springs and tour the gardens, go to the plant sale, and maybe if you're looking for a new tradition, you come on out. You can go to gardentime.tv for more information. Red, always a pleasure hanging out with you. Thanks, well, man. Well, it's always fun to have you guys here. Thanks much.